Hello, and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to. And today, we are back in the village world. We have these three houses so far. We got the cleric, we got the... what is it? Fletcher. <laughs> and we have the smithing table person. Toolsmith? I think that's right. And today, we are going to add a fourth house. And I want to continue working my way around this little, uh inner square right here because I like the way that it's looking as all of these are coming together around it. It's looking so cool. So today we are going to go to this house right here. This is for the shepherd. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? I'm thinking because this is a shepherd, the shepherd will maybe build out of wool and so we can do some sort of like a little tutor sort of design like that where we have the wool in between these uh, darker pieces of wood. And then we would have, you know, sort of thinner bits of spruce going across that, like the signs or fences or something like that to give it a little bit of texture. But that's what I'm imagining here. A cute little Tudor house. Tudor, like, the style, not like a language arts tutor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that our toolsmith? Wait, has he returned? Because if you didn't left the watch the last video, he ran away. A mason. You're not the one I was hoping for. Now, I need to tear down this house so he can build a new one. So, uh, let's get to tearing. And here is the very strange little outline that I've come up with. So let me let me tell you what I've done. So first of all, I tore down the well and the tree here because they were kind of blocking my view and also looking bad. I wanted to make a diagonally fronted house. You saw that. You saw that, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not messing around. I have not done anything. What in the? Is this like a secret well? Does the village have a secret well? What is this? I genuinely don't understand what's going on here. Can anybody explain it, please? I'm gonna go away. Go away. I want to go away. Go away. Anyways, we're going to pretend like we didn't just see that and go back to talking about the house. So <laughs> this is going to be diagonally fronted and instead of just making a big block behind it, I wanted to separate it off a little bit. So there's little bits here that stick out a little bit. There's going to be a piece that juts out over here and over here, a piece that's inset over here. And that way it gives a little bit more of an interesting shape. And hopefully when we look at it from this angle, there will be this little piece that's extending towards the sort of central market here, which makes it a little bit more, um, looks like it's leaning this way a little bit, stay under the ground. And then there's going to be pieces there that are stretching over that way. And hopefully that will kind of guide the eye a little bit. That's the vision. I guess let's just begin. I'm going to time lapse this and we're just going to put in a vague foundation with these wool pieces and, uh, some spruce, although I might do the bottom floor out of stone instead. Kind of the way that I did uh, this one over here. I think that might stylistically look good. There, That way we have these almost catty-cornered from each other. The way that these are kind of catty-cornered from each other and they have a similar block palette as well. That way we can kind of uh, echo this theme a little bit. So let's begin. Here's what I've got so far. I have most of these sections separated by the, the spruce, obviously, with stone in between. I think I am going to keep the bottom as stone and then wool on the top, probably. I have this bit inset just a little bit using walls instead of bricks. That way it gives it a little bit more depth. We're going to add depth to the rest of this, though, in a different way. So, many of you may already know this trick, but if you don't, then now you get to see it. Uh, I'm going to get a, a dark oak button, I think. This looks a little bit flat, especially in comparison to this right here. So what we're going to do is bring it out a little bit like this. So these look like there are kind of supports jutting out from inside the house. And in fact, we can uh, carry them through the inside of the house like this and uh, use these as part of the ceiling. Boom, boom. We can pull another one through this way. Nice, and right there. And now we have this nice pattern that's emerging. 
that's wonderfully symmetrical despite the the odd shapes of this house. Uh, like we can we can probably pull another one right here. That's gonna move through the house this way and come out directly in the middle of this, right? And then we can add another one here and another one here, another one here. Uh, we'll probably put more right here. And now we want to go through and add buttons on these. These, I think, just look kind of like nails that are holding them into place. Mm, we need some on the front here as well. Let's do this. That way it's symmetrical here as well. Beautiful. And then we can uh, carry these through as well. And then maybe we need one here also to complete this grid pattern inside. We're not going to have it come out this side, though. That would look weird. So now we have these supports that are jutting out the sides, right? And we have this wonderful latticework interior that we can use for a roof inside. We can complete this using some slabs. So because this is spruce, a spruce slab, like unstripped spruce, right? A spruce slab is going to look a little bit weird with it because it's going to be a little bit light. So I'm going to grab dark oak instead. All right. And now we're going to complete this like this. Let me, let me actually grab a torch to light up the inside here. So we don't get a bunch of bats. And we're going to leave this open because we're going to have some sort of uh, ladder up there. And I think I've gotten all the slabs in. So let's see how this looks. Look at that. We're going to have a wonderful floor with this for the upstairs already as well. So then we're going to get a uh, dark oak stair. Now there's a couple different things that you can do. And I don't know which one I'm actually going to go with, but I like both of these, right? So we can do fences in here like this. So the basic idea is that when we bring this out a little bit like this, we are going to then build upwards from these. Actually, I think I'm going to use these logs though instead. And now we probably won't use every single one of these. Like I might get rid of this one in the middle and just do it like this. Pull that across there and then we're going to have an outline for this white wool to go in and so then it's going to end up looking like that so these are kind of supports so we can use these uh fences here we can also use fence gates although i tend to like these a little more right here because it looks like they're kind of holding up the logs like that so what i'm gonna do is stairs that way it looks like a really nice support we can have these fence gates down here supporting these logs, and then we're going to have the upstairs built off of those posts that are sticking out. And then it ends up looking really natural. You get a good bit of depth in here as well. Sometimes I also like to even take these out a little bit more like this. I don't know that I'll do this here, but this can look cool too if you want even a little bit more depth sticking up here. But I think that's going to be a little much. I don't think this place is big enough to warrant that. I think it's a, a little too small. So we're going to do this instead. I think it fits the scale really nicely. So we're going to jump into another time lapse and get this done. And here it is. So we have our little joint sticking out and we have this upper bit done now. All the wool is outlined in the spruce. We're going to go through and make this look a little bit more unique soon, but first I want to work on the roof. And I'm thinking for the roof, dark oak and some wool. I think that will look really nice. Now, usually I would go about it with, you know, kind of an Eve approach and there'd be this sort of thing. And then there'd be, you know, the, the stairs that are coming up like that, except, you know, not like that, but framing the eaves and all connecting in the middle. I don't think I want to do that here. In my mind, the shepherd's house looks a little bit more um, floppy, but we're gonna make a, a shape. I'm gonna do this with you. I think I'm gonna bring them out here. I think I'm gonna cover up this. Yeah, like that. And then I think the roof is gonna come up a little bit. I'm just gonna place some random blocks here like this where I want it to stay out. It'll make sense in a moment, probably. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll bring up some wool behind it like this. I'm not mad at this. I know it looks a little weird right now, but I have a I have a vision in mind, okay? So I'm gonna pull up some of these pieces as well. It's gonna be a little bit randomized. 
And then we're going to have more back here. All right, how's this? Let's look at it from the ground. Ooh, I'm liking it. All right, so we're going to do the same kind of thing. On these parts that are a little more prominently poking out, we're going to add some more little, little pokey uppies like this. Pokey uppies. That's the technical term. We'll put one here, I think. And then maybe one like this and this and this. Do I want another set of two going up there behind those? Because we have this pattern so far of like two blocks here, two blocks here. I think two might be a little much. I'm going to put one and see how that looks. I think I like that. So then from there, we'll add a few more. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Should I just let it do that? Well, maybe we'll do that. I, <laughs> I'll add a few more uh, pokey uppies like this. And then another one block been, uh, behind them. All right. I like that. I like that. So then uh, let's see what it looks like if we do this one more time. I like that. It's a little bit more um, whimsical looking, a little bit more mushroomy. So then now that we have this, I'm going to get some more pieces of dark oak here. So then the idea is that we want some of these to basically move up it and look like they're kind of holding all of this in place. Just like a so. And so we're going to have a few of these on the, the sides of the roof here, just moving up it from these dark oak planks that we've poked upwards. So I'm going to add a few more of these. And here it is. So I added more trapdoors on these little corner bits. So it wasn't just the exposed wool anymore, right? I think that makes it look even better. And then we have them joining into this messy pinnacle at the top. But I, I like it looking messy. I do. I like the floppy look of it. So here's what it looks like from the ground. I really like the shape of this. Really, really do. So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to um, I want to bring these out a little bit. Maybe I want to do something a little bit different right here. Um, yeah, what if I bring it out like this? Maybe a little garden bed right here. That could be nice. That could be nice. I'll leave it like that for now. Might workshop it later. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is we need to um, mess this up a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing to the stones that we've done in the buildings over here and just shake them up a bit. Um, I'm not going to use any of the cracked stones in this one. I don't think it would look as good. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use this, I think. And if you haven't watched these other videos, my usual technique is put the crumble bits at the bottom. Boom. Nope, that's grass. Boom, boom. Something like this, right? So it looks like the weight has kind of crushed them down a little bit. And then stones go at the top. Like this. That way we get a little bit of nice variation and it also makes sense visually. So I'm going to do this real quick and I will be back in a second. Here we are with the bottom textured, and now it is time to, no pun intended, spruce up the top. So I want to take some different parts of this uh, dark oak stuff here and kind of move it across these different sections a little bit. So we're going to do a few different examples of this. I'm actually going to start over here, and I'm going to push this wall inward. I need torches. I forgot to light up the top before I put the roof on, and now it's infested come here come here nobody look okay did I get them all no go away go away go away okay okay <laughs> You can be free, but don't come back in here. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna put this wall in here like a so. That way we can take this and we're gonna do uh, I think it's okay to have this a little bit asymmetrical if we do something like 
Yeah, that joins up nicely. Then we get that sort of crisscrossy pattern that happens on some of these houses. Now on other ones of these, we're gonna do a little, a little something with the windows. So here, fences, beautiful. Now, if we wanna get fancy with this, we can actually do this a little bit of a different way where we have the window, um, actually, let's do it like this. We'll put these here and then we can have the window sticking out like that. That way it looks like it's an open window. Isn't that cool? So we have that. Uh, let's put a couple more windows in here. Um, I'm gonna put this here like this. There's gonna be a little miniature windows. We'll have another window right here. Hmm, maybe we should bring this down a little bit for this one. Do this sort of thing, and then we're gonna shape this differently. So let's get dark oak again. <laughs> we're gonna do a sign. Oh, I wish I had the hanging signs in here. That would be so cool. Now we have a little bit more of a frame here, but it's a different shape. So it varies up the appearance. Um, we're gonna put windows in here and here, just little baby windows. We're gonna drag this one down as well and have this be a tall window. It's open like this. Ta-da. I might wanna pull this one down actually. Yeah, I like that. We're just seeing what looks good. And then up here at the top, I'm gonna do something a little bit different as well. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a frame like that. Yeah, that's nice. I might pull this window down as well. These are just, they're very tall from the inside. You can't even look inside those windows that are all the way up there. So I'm gonna bring them down a little bit like that. There, I, I really rather like that. We can put a little, a little thing like that right there. Now we have a, a bunch of different variations for these windows. We just have to do this wall right here. Uh, let's... Should we push this one in as well? I think maybe we should. I think that would make building on the inside here easier also. So let's do it like this though. We're gonna have it be a little bit taller than this one over here. And I think we might try it with these. We're gonna have this sort of pattern going across it. There we go. A bunch of different stylings here. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak the roof a little bit now as well. I'm gonna bring it down on these corners a little bit like this, just to give it some more shape. That's nice. Now let's step back a little bit and admire our work. All right, this is looking so cool. So we have a little bit more to do with the outside here. We need a sheep pen extending over this way. I'm gonna connect part of this to the house. This area here is gonna open up into a sort of sheep shearing area and storage area for the wool. And then there will be loom stuff in here. And I think the upstairs will be sort of living quarters. And uh, then beyond this shearing storage area, we'll have the pen extending this way. I think I will just do this part in a time lapse. So let's get into it. And I think we're done. Look at this. Here it is. The inside is done and the outside is done. It's all done. It's all beautiful. What are they doing over there? <laughs> if the nitwit comes into the sheet pen, that would just be the icing on the cake. So let me walk you through this. Let's start uh, inside. So we walk through the front door. And here is what you see. So this is just the workspace. There's a loom that is looming some carpet, I guess. And then there's storage spaces for different colored wool. And then of course there's a little candle. Love this little candle holder design as well. Oh my goodness, I just had an idea. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is going. All of the, oops, I didn't mean to take that out, but these are going. So here's what I wanna do, here's what I wanna do. I want, how many surfaces do I have? I have 10, is that right? I did not grab them in a very sensible order. 
Um, I'm going to put them here like this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these can be like, um, they can be like dye bottles. Like a little bottle of dye and you put it on the, the wool to color it. Oh, I love this. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. This is wonderful. Okay, so now, now the shepherd also has dyes to create different colored wool. This is cool. Okay, so there's that. And then uh, the upstairs. Hold on. I'm, I keep finding new things that I want to add. Um, not that. I want this. Let me just plonk this in here somewhere. Like that. That's good. All right. Now, upstairs. Upstairs is very colorful. We have a bunch of different colored carpets on the ground, a bunch of different banners hanging around. I imagine the shepherd, with all the carpet making, likes a lot of color. There's some bookshelves inset into the staircase here. There's a little bed right here, and then there's this nice central fireplace that's going upstairs. Upstairs is not anything very special. It's just a bunch of storage, and the chimney keeps going up there. And I will take you to see the chimney next, I think, because it's a different design than the other ones that I've done in the village so far. I wanted to change it up a little bit because the other ones have been pretty consistent. I mean, these ones are pretty much identical. It just has a bigger base there. This one's a little bit different, but this one's definitely different. So I made it look a little bit dilapidated by using these granite pieces in place of some of the brick. And here, some of the brick has fallen out, so there's little rivets in it, kind of like down there. And then where these pillars have deteriorated, I put copper pipes to make it look like only the little inner bit is left being held together. And then there are different smokestacks at the top and a campfire in the middle to pump some smoke out. That way you can see all the chimneys going together and it looks like it's a, it looks like it's very alive, right? And then out here we, the nitwit is in the sheep pen. <laughs> and so, are other villagers too. They're just gonna be stuck here. Like this is just their life now. That's where they live. This is the the sheep pen area. There's a couple sheep dogs here, of course. This is where the sheep would get sheared. So you stick them in the pen and then you take all the wool off of them. And there's some banners hanging around here as well. And then out here, there's several different areas. So the, the herds can be separated. There's a nice little pond in this area. Actually, I wanna replace that. And then every area also has a little hut here with a cauldron and water and hay. I really like the look of this. I really, really like the look of this. And I'm really happy with how the outside of this house turned out too, with all the different areas on the, on the top here, the different designs on this wool part. Now we have done four out of how many professions are there? 14, so I think we still have 10 left, but we have one more thing to do today, and that is get a shepherd. This went badly the last time, so let's hope it goes a little better this time. Take the profession. Yes, and maybe stay in your home this time and love your home. No. Yes, go to the sheep, go to, What is wrong with them? Let me put one upstairs. You're gonna be at this little little place in your bedroom area. Oh, you're gonna get some wool from upstairs. What is with this? Where are you going? Why are you just standing in the corner? <laughs> Why did neither of them want to be involved in this? I make these beautiful homes for them. And then the villagers are like, actually, <laughs> Actually, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, at least you came back. Goodness. Anyways, I hope that you like this. And uh, if you did, then be sure to give it a like and a share and comment and stuff. And let me know what you would like to see next. We got a bunch of professions left to go. So thank you as always for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.